Picture this, a time when television screens emitted a warm, flickering glow, and the world was captivated by the magic of storytelling. In those sepia-toned days, a captivating starlet emerged, etching herself into the annals of Hollywood history. Her name, Yvonne DiCarlo. Even as you read these words, your mind dances back to the moments when her presence first graced your eyes. Perhaps it was the hushed whispers of your grandparents, recounting tales of her mesmerizing performances. Or maybe it was stumbling upon her classic films during a lazy Sunday afternoon. Those memories, now gently brushed with the patina of time, have become a cherished part of your personal tapestry. Yvonne de Carlo, a name that resonates with glamour and timeless elegance, possessed a magnetic allure that transcended eras. From her iconic portrayal as Sephora in The Ten Commandments to her bewitching role as Lily Munster in the beloved TV series The Munsters, her talent knew no bounds. But beyond the limelight, did you know that her journey to stardom was as fascinating as the characters she portrayed? Let's delve into the lesser-known anecdotes that enriched her life, unearthing the hidden gems that glitter beneath the spotlight. Did you ever imagine that beneath her polished exterior, Yvonne de Carlo was a fierce advocate for women's rights, challenging conventions in an industry known for its constraints? Or that her love for travel mirrored her yearning for new horizons in her career? These intriguing revelations invite you to see Yvonne in a new light, a multidimensional artist and woman of substance. So, dear reader, as we embark on this journey through the pages of history, let's pay homage to the enigmatic Yvonne de Carlo, an actress, an icon, and a trailblazer. Unearth the moments that sculpted her legacy as we celebrate the woman behind the roles, the embodiment of timeless charisma and grace. Yvonne de Carlo, a Hollywood icon known for her captivating presence on screen, forged her unique identity not only through her acting prowess, but also by embracing her musical talents. An accomplished singer since childhood, de Carlo lent her melodic voice to many of her films during the 1940s and 1950s, adding an extra layer of charm to her performances. Her musical journey culminated in the quirky production of Far Out Munsters in 1965, where she not only showcased her singing abilities, but also surprised audiences by skillfully playing the harp. This rare combination of talents demonstrated her versatility and determination to excel beyond the silver screen. De Carlo's decision to choose her own stage name, blending her middle name with her mother's maiden name of De Carlo, underlines her foresight and understanding the power of personal branding. This choice was rooted in her recognition that she defied the conventional all-American girl next door image, challenging stereotypes and embracing her unique allure. While her acting career left an indelible mark on Hollywood history, De Carlo's musical contributions underscore her multidimensional artistry. From enchanting melodies to unexpected harp performances, she continues to inspire generations, proving that true talent knows no bound. Yvonne De Carlo, the acclaimed Hollywood film star, had an intriguing connection that extended beyond the silver screen. Amid her rise to fame, she garnered an unexpected admirer, Eva Perón, the formidable first lady of Argentina from 1946 to 1952. According to De Carlo's own account, Perón held a profound appreciation for her work, cherishing each of her films and singling out Buccaneers Girl as a personal favorite. De Carlo's autobiography recounted a surprising encounter during her time in Argentina. Heron expressed her admiration directly to the actress, conveying not only her enjoyment of De Carlo's performances, but also a desire for her to portray Peron's own life in a biographical film. As De Carlo prepared to depart Argentina, Peron presented her with a copy of the autobiography, inscribing heartfelt words of gratitude. A remembrance of your passing through Argentina, with my gratitude for your kindness toward me. With my best wishes for your happiness always, and a big hug, Eva Peron. This unanticipated connection between the Hollywood luminary and the political powerhouse adds a layer of intrigue to De Carlo's multifaceted life. Beyond her acting prowess, she found herself on the radar of one of Argentina's most influential figures, leaving an indelible mark on her international journey. Yvonne De Carlo's legacy endures, not only through her prolific career, but also through the remarkable bonds she forged across borders in realms of influence. Her captivating story is etched into the Hollywood Walk of Fame, commemorating her accomplishments in both motion pictures and television. The stars at 6124 Hollywood Boulevard and 6715 Hollywood Boulevard serve 
as a lasting testament to her enduring impact on the entertainment industry. In the tapestry of Yvonne de Carlo's life, the unexpected connection with Eva Perron shines as a testament to the global reach of her talent and charisma. As the stars on the Walk of Fame illuminate her path, De Carlo's journey continues to captivate and inspire, reminding us of the unanticipated intersections that shape a life lived on the grand stage. Yvonne De Carlo, a Hollywood icon of the mid-20th century, seamlessly transitioned into the role of Lily Munster, a classic character on the television show The Munsters in 1964. However, her arrival as Lily was met with initial skepticism from her co-stars Fred Gwynn and Al Lewis, who had yet to meet her. De Carlo's reputation as a Hollywood glamour queen preceded her, evoking both intimidation and curiosity. Yet, it wasn't long before Gwynn and Lewis recognized her comedic prowess. With a blend of elegance and comic timing, De Carlo won over her fellow actors, dispelling their apprehensions. Before captivating television audiences as Lily Munster, De Carlo's memoir revealed a candid aspect of her personal life. In her 1987 autobiography, she unabashedly listed 22 of her lovers, providing a glimpse into the romantic intricacies of her journey. This unapologetic disclosure shattered the conventions of the era, reinforcing her status as a trailblazer in Hollywood. Beyond her acting and romantic escapades, De Carlo's versatility extended to her vocal talents. On various episodes of The Munsters, she showcased her singing abilities, adding yet another layer to her multifaceted career. This unexpected talent underscored her ability to seamlessly navigate the realms of both acting and music. Yvonne De Carlo, with her charm, grace, and surprising comedic flair, left an indelible mark on both the silver screen and television, captivating audiences with her dynamic performances. Her transformation into Lily Munster stands as a testament to her adaptability, ultimately endearing her to her co-stars and fans alike. Yvonne De Carlo, the iconic Hollywood star, left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. One of her most surprising admirers was none other than Italian actress Sophia Loren. A revelation came in 1965, as Loren confessed to columnist Dick Kleiner, particularly I loved Yvonne DiCarlo. She was my favorite actress. Others too, like Rita Hayworth, but I used to dream I was Yvonne DiCarlo. Loren's admiration transcended borders and generations, with DiCarlo's early films captivating a young Loren. Their connection was solidified at the 1954 Berlin Film Festival, where De Carlo and Lauren stood side by side, a moment immortalized in a photograph alongside another cinematic luminary, Gina Lollabrigida. A trio of talent, their presence highlighted the international allure of Hollywood's golden age. For De Carlo, her crowning achievement came in the form of The Ten Commandments, a film that resonated deeply within her. She regarded it as her finest work, earning a nomination for the Laurel Award for Best Supporting Actress. In her autobiography and a book dedicated to the film, she prophesied its timeless impact, foreseeing her descendants experiencing its cinematic grandeur. Amidst her successes, De Carlo's role as Lily Munster in The Munsters was a defining chapter. However, this fame came at a cost. As she drove her custom-fitted Jaguar sedan adorned with eerie ornaments, De Carlo was confronted with an unforeseen challenge. Repeated vandalism by zealous fans seeking a piece of the actress forced her to part ways with her spooky mobile. Yvonne De Carlo's legacy is one that continues to fascinate, not only for her acting prowess, but also for the unexpected connections she forged across cultures and continents. In a world of fleeting stardom, De Carlo's influence endures, leaving an indomitable mark on Hollywood's history. Yvonne De Carlo's journey from beauty pageants to Hollywood stardom long before her iconic portrayal of Lily Munster in the beloved TV series The Munsters, Yvonne De Carlo's path to success was marked by twists of fate and perseverance. In 1940, she clinched second place in the Miss Venice Beach contest, earning a modest $25 check. An unexpected connection arose when one of the judges turned out to be Sir Cedric Hardwick, her future co-star in The Ten Commandments. This seemingly minor victory opened a door to her first gig as a nightclub dancer, which would ultimately pave the way for her illustrious movie career. De Carlo's early triumphs, however, did not prevent the challenges that lay ahead. Prior to her role as Lily Munster, she faced a dire financial situation. Her film career was waning, casting her into debt and casting a shadow of depression over her. Amidst these struggles, De Carlo's resilience remained unshaken. 
It was her multifaceted talent, coupled with an unyielding determination, that ultimately brought her back into the spotlight. But it wasn't just her on-screen achievements that defined DiCarlo's legacy. A significant chapter in her life was marked by her enduring friendship with Butch Patrick, her co-star in The Munsters. Their camaraderie extended beyond the confines of the show, and their bond remained strong even after the series concluded. This unique connection spoke volumes about DiCarlo's warmth and authenticity, qualities that endeared her to colleagues and fans alike. Yvonne DiCarlo's journey from a $25 prize at the Miss Venice Beach contest to Hollywood stardom exemplifies the power of resilience, unexpected opportunities, and the lasting impact of genuine relationships. Her story serves as a reminder that behind the glamour of the silver screen lies a tapestry of challenges, triumphs, and human connections that shape the lives of even the most iconic figures. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the illustrious tapestry of Yvonne de Carlo's life and artistry, let the echoes of her versatile performances resonate within your thoughts. Just as she seamlessly embodied a multitude of characters, take a moment to reflect on the myriad of emotions she invoked in you, be it as Sephora, Lily Munster, or any of her other memorable roles. Every nuance, every expression she brought to the screen forged a personal connection between her and each member of her audience. Perhaps it was the way she could convey strength and vulnerability simultaneously, or how her presence could command attention with a mere glance. These are the gems that continue to sparkle in the vast expanse of cinematic history. Now, the spotlight turns to you. What memories have you woven into the fabric of her performances? What emotions have been stirred? This is your invitation to share your own narrative of Yvonne de Carlo's impact on your cinematic journey. Whether it's a cherished scene that lingers in your mind or the profound inspiration her journey ignited in your heart, your story enriches the legacy she has left behind. As the curtains draw to a close on this tribute, let us collectively stand in awe of Yvonne de Carlo's enduring imprint on entertainment. Her contributions have transcended time, touching hearts and minds across generations. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of her life, for your time and unwavering interest. The torch of her legacy burns brightly, and through your recollections, it blazes on. With admiration for an icon who forever shaped the silver screen, 